All right, what's up, everybody? Racket Lord here, and welcome to the continuation of season two of The Walking Dead. Episode two, A House Divided, was just released yesterday, and uh, it's been a tough 24 hours, I have to say. But I've managed to avoid spoilers, so unlike my playthrough of episode one, this one will be done completely blind. So that'll be awesome. I can't wait to see how the story continues, so let's not waste any time. Let's get in there and get it done. Chapter 2. Or, Episode 2, rather. <laughs> A House Divided. Oh, damn. Let's see. Let's see what the hell's gonna happen now. Previously on The Walking Dead. I'm freezing. Wait till we get up to Wellington. Then talk to me about coal. I'm gonna go look for more wood. Where's the rest of your group? I I'm by myself. Bullshit. Krista, run! I'm out. Grab her. Let's go. Would someone mind telling me what the fuck is going on here? She was bit by a dog. For all we know, she could be working with Carver. So, since you're pretty much on your own... What's your plan? Maybe I could stay here for a little bit, if that's all right. I've got no problem with it. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? Who's Carver? You were in the woods with Krista. Please. Ah! I'm fine. I'm fine. Just... Just lost my footing! Damn it. God damn it! Come this way! Damn it, you get your asses over here, both of you! Oh, shit. That's right, I went with Pete. Which I've noticed not a lot of other playthroughs have done. Kind of interesting. I wonder how different this is going to be. shouldn't be able to get through that. On the downside, we can't get through them. What are you looking at? Huh. Staring ain't polite. Come on out and say it. What are you going to do? Hand me that there. Oh shit. We're gonna pull a saw. Are you sure? I got nothing to lose. Other than my piggly wigglies, of course. Damn, he's probably starting pretty high up. <laughs> oh, this is gonna suck ass. Bleed out like a stuck pig. What are you gonna do? Carry me out of here on your back? Hell. It's just... Just give me a minute. Try to get some rest. There's a lot of stuff in here. I'll try to find something to help. Yeah, maybe we can find something to use as a tourniquet. Would be helpful. Stupid kid. Goddamn Nick. Let's see. 
Are we packing anything useful in here? What have we got? Water. It's not really gonna help much. Aside from hydrate them up. Anything in that. Sorry, it's empty. Oh, well, there you go then. Damn. I'll keep looking around. Gave the last of my water to that dude. Who, for all I know, is dead now. Let's check the box. What's in there? Anything we can use? Give me one of those. Probably tastes like pine tar by now. But I'd smoke mm. a dead coon's tail if you had one. Hand it here. You shouldn't. Why? <laughs> they gonna kill me? Smoking is bad. <laughs> you got a light? Let's go ahead and spark it up. <laughs> well, that tastes about as bad as it smells. Now what? <sighs> we wait. I wonder if there was more to check. I noticed I could have looked at the saw again. I don't know if that would have done anything, though. <laughs> yeah, staying in such a small space with a bitten dude, probably not the best of ideas. I must say. Let's... Grab the saw just in case we're going to need it. Pete. Don't be dead, please. No, nope, he's looking pretty alive. For now. I feel like ten pounds of shit in a five pound sack. <coughs> Jesus. Stuck in this can the whole damn day. You want to hear something funny? I've been thinking. And I don't want to die. <laughs> I never thought I'd be the kind of idiot to say something like that, but there it is. I'm scared, Clementine. Jesus, I'm scared. You're going to be okay. Oh, at least spare me the bedside bullshit. Sorry. Would you... Would you promise me you'll watch out for Nick? I love that stupid kid. No matter what you think, he is a good boy. Yeah. I'll do what I can. Thank you. He might not be Almost happy that I... They ain't gonna find us. Might not be happy that I ditched him, though. <laughs> Where are you going? Oh, he's gonna... Sacrifice himself. Getting out of this. You're gonna have to make a break for it. I'll buy you some time. Yeah, there's nothing else you can do. Thank you, Pete. You go find my nephew now, right? Wait for my signal and run straight to the woods. Just keep moving. All right. Let's get this over with.
Oh shit, here we go. Get my way. You. Oh yeah, Master Zombie Dodger over here. Oh, see you, Pete. He was a good guy. Clementine, are you all right? Luke's not with you? Where's Alvin? What happened? It's been hours. Where are they? Clem! Pete got bit. What? What happened? Walkers. What else happened? God. Where were you? Where were you exactly? Down by the stream. We gotta go. Just hold on a minute. My husband is still out there! Get the guns! Luke and Alvin went out looking for you. I told them not to go. Damn it, Luke. Clementine, can you, can you please watch Sarah? She's upstairs. Just distract her and don't tell her anything. Yeah, sure. I'll take care of her. You can trust me. Thank you. You'll be safe inside. Just don't open the doors for anything. We'll be back soon. And thank you. And it works, dude. So now we're babysitting, huh? Say cheese! I found this under the house. There was all kinds of old stuff. It's so cool. Take one <laughs> of me. Come on, take one of me. Please? Ah, yeah, why not? Humor her. Get me in a good pose, okay? okay Photomatic. What's wrong? Um, where's my dad? Oh shit, should I tell the truth? Clem, you're scaring me. He'll be fine. No. <laughs> Are you sure? Sorry, I, I I just need to. Do you want to see what I found? Will you show me how to use it? I couldn't find any bullets. If something's wrong, I should know. Mm. What if I have to use one? Nobody tells me anything. Uh. Okay, but it's not a toy. I know. First, remember, it's just a thing. What does that mean? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I thought it'd be heavier. Okay, what do I do? The most important thing is, when you go to shoot, take a breath. Before you pull the trigger. <sighs> Not that big. <sighs> what should I shoot? Don't do that! S -s -s sorry! Sorry! Damn it, Sarah. Maybe I could practice outside. There's that tree. That's probably not a good idea either. Hey, Luke's back! Is it Luke? It's awfully suspicious that they didn't show him. Oh yeah, this is definitely not Luke. Let's see. Can we see anything out here? No? What 
the hell? That's not Luke. Clem, I think I know him. He can't see me. You have to make him go away. What? Who is he? The hell are you talking about? I, I don't remember. No. Clem, I can't breathe. I can't, I can't breathe. Hello? Yeah, it's locked the door. Oh, okay. Or just there. make yourself at home, why don't you? What the fuck? Who are you? Well, actually, I'm your neighbor. Neighbor? That's right. My family and I are set up a ways down river. I'm kind of surprised we haven't run into each other yet. What's your name? Um. What's your name? <laughs> My name is George, honey. No, I'm not buying this. Pleasure to meet you. This dude's shifty as hell. You mind if I come in for a bit? Yes, I do mind. This is a nice place. Is there anyone else around? You don't usually see cabins this big out here. Mm hmm. Sure could pack a lot of folks in there. Just me and and dad. Yeah? What's his name? Ed. Strong name. I like him already. Where is he? He's out. Well, I'll cut to the chase. I'm out looking for my people. Seven of them, to be exact. They've been gone a long while, and I'm worried they might have gotten lost. Maybe you've seen them. A couple of farm boys and an old man. Spanish guy and his daughter. Quiet girl. A bit taller than you. I bet this is Carver. Big black guy. This big. And a pretty little pregnant lady. That's a lot of people to lose. Tell me about it. This whole damn thing's a pain in the ass. It's a lot of plates for two people. Looks like a tornado ran through here. Yeah, well, I'm supposed to be doing the dishes. Just passing through, or you been here a while? You listen, kid. I hope you're not one of those nuts headed up north looking for Shangri-La. Now, I'm not sure why you'd go anywhere after finding this place. Hell, I just got here, and I already don't want to leave. Been here for a year. Is that right? It's dangerous to stay put that long. <laughs> Surprise you've lasted. You must be pretty tough. I've been lucky. I doubt that. Where does this go? Oh, I'll take it. He seemed to know exactly where it went. Well, it's a real nice place. Kind of cozy. I knew a guy that always wore shirts like this. Doctor. Real smug son of a bitch. But a smart man. I miss him. What happened to him? Let's just say we had our differences. Sooner or later, people close to you will find a reason to cross you. Happens every time. Well, well. White's in trouble. Three moves away from checkmate. What was that? I thought you said nobody's here. God damn it, Sarah. Uh, I don't like any of these options. Probably just the wind. Son of a bitch. Damn it, Sarah, you better be hiding.
I told you, nobody's here. Seems that way. Didn't mean to be rude. Couldn't just leave you here with a good conscience if someone was poking around, right? Sure. What a hero. Who's this? Uh oh. Must be someone who lived here. Must be. You have no idea who these people are, do you? <laughs> do you know them? Let me ask you this. When you met them, how much did they trust you? What's your point? What's your point? If people don't trust you, how can you trust them? Well, I think I've troubled you long enough. I can let myself out. Well, wait, who are you? You have a real good day now. That's got to be Carver. Has to be. Where is he? He's gone. What if he comes back? We need to find the others. We can't go outside. Clementine. Sarah. They told me about Pete. You know where he is, right? Come on, let's go. A man was here. What? What did she say? Someone came to the cabin. What? Clementine talked to him. And you just opened the door for him? Calm down, Rebecca. Calm down? I am calm. You calm down. I didn't open the door. He just came in. She's telling the truth. Did he say his name? Did he say what his name was? Fake Maybe name. It wasn't him. You know damn well who it was. Yeah, but I think he was lying. What? I thought he said his name was George. George? Look, Clem, just tell us what he looked like. What was he wearing? Did he sound different? How old was he? His voice was gravelly. Like how? I don't know. Kind of deep and scratchy. He talked about you, Dad. You're not gonna hurt anyone, are you? Of course he won't, Sarah. All right, your dad's the nicest man I know, which is why he's not gonna do anything crazy. Or not nice, right? You know these are bad people, sweetie. They will do or say anything to hurt us. All right, what do you think? Did it seem like he'd be coming back? He saw a picture of me. A picture? What were you doing taking pictures? Carlos. What? You need to calm down. All right, you're scaring your daughter. I took the picture. It's my fault. No, I asked her to. It's my fault. Sarah. It's a pretty sh shitty situation all around. We got lucky. He wasn't expecting to find us. Clementine must have surprised him. She hadn't been there. Well, he was too smart to stick around, but he'll be back with the rest. We don't have much time. He's right. Everyone pack up. We're moving now. Alvin, wait! We have to leave now, sweetie, before huh? he comes back with more bad guys. But it's gonna be okay. Let's just go get your things. Why did you leave his camp? Because we had to. Clem, I don't know what he told you, but William Carver is a dangerous man. He's the leader of a camp not far from here, and he's very smart. We were lucky to escape. Look, I'm sorry to involve you, but now that he's seen you, you'll be safer with us. We have to leave. Well, I've secured my place in the group now. We have to find Pete. We'll get him on the way out, Nick. Clementine, you know where he was, right? Yeah. All right. Everybody grab your stuff. Let's hit the road. Well, shit. Now, you said it was just up here? Yeah, just a little ways. Hey, Clem. Sorry if I gave you some shit back there. I'm just a little on edge. I still don't like what you did. 
sneaking around on us and taking advantage of my husband. Hmm. But I know you were in a tough spot. It's okay. If it's not you I'm yelling at lately, it's Alvin. And then I'm in real trouble. I can handle it. I'm not a little kid. I felt the same way when I was your age. My dad was always giving me shit. And I always thought he didn't know a damn thing. I know you did your best back there. You know, none of us would make it on our own. Sometimes it's hard knowing just how dependent I am on everyone. I'm not used to that. I'm not comfortable with that. I'm supposed to be a mom soon. Guess I need to work on my patience. Alvin and I still don't know what to call her. Or him if that man gets his wish. God help me. Any ideas? Clem? I had a feeling she wouldn't just be like a bitch the entire, you know, season. There. That's where we were. It's nice to adding more character to her. He's not in here. This was the last place I saw him. Maybe he's around here somewhere. All right, well, let's get looking. Keep your eyes open and stay in sight. It's an awfully lot of blood. Maybe he, maybe he ended up cutting off his leg anyway. Uncle Pete! Or maybe he just got devoured. Damn. Oh my god. W what happened? What the hell happened? He's been shot. Right through the head. Didn't have a gun. Who did this? Son of a bitch. We need to go. He's gone. Nick, he, he, he's gone. We gotta get moving. Come on, man. Tell me. Tell me how it happened. Huh. The last thing he said was he wanted to say goodbye to you. Fuck. I'm worried about that kid. Keep an eye on him for me, would you? You sure you still want to come with us? Look, I know we got off to a rough start, and I can't make any promises mm. it won't get rougher. But we all know you now. We may not be perfect, but we look out for each other. Yeah, I'm with you guys. And we are glad to have you. Not everyone is. Well, they'll get there. I figure we got about four or five days to reach those mountains. Now, if they're tracking us, we should be able to lose them up there. Five days? It's gonna be okay, Beck. We have to keep moving now. It's our only choice. I understand you're all sad and stuff, Nick, but seriously, you can't be lagging behind. Damn, five days. Oh yeah. See anything? Doing some recon. She better see something. We've been walking for a damn week. There's a lift or something. Chairlift? It must be that ski resort. I've never been skiing. 
Beck and I went once. It wasn't pretty. Huh. Yeah, there it is there. There's a building on the mountain. What's it look like? It's big. That sounds like a good place to spend the night. If people aren't already there. There's a little house by the bridge. How big is it? It's pretty small. I don't like the looks of that bridge. I really don't. There's the bridge. And does it look passable? I think so. Good. We have to cross that bridge. Let's go. Oh, this is going to be great. Hold on now. We can't all go sprinting across that thing, okay? We get spotted out there, we're going to be trapped. Going around that lake will take too long. Right, but look, we've got no idea who's out there. Okay, I'm going to sneak across, make sure it's clear before we bring the whole group over. You think splitting up the group is a good idea? Well, I never said it was a good idea, but it's better than risking everyone at once. That's What's true. Plan? Clem and I can scoot across low and slow, make sure nobody's waiting for us on the other side. We'll have a tough time covering you from back here. Well, we'll just turn back if it gets hairy. Clementine should stay here. She's... She's what? She's just a little girl, Luke. Huh. She's a valuable little girl. I mean, hell, if she can sew up her own arm, she's fit to cross a bridge. I can do it. See? No problem. It's gonna be fine. Okay, we'll signal you guys in ten minutes. Just watch for a light at the far side. I can go too. You stay with the group. I'm fine, Luke. I don't like this. Yeah, well, when's the last time you liked anything, Carlos? If something happens, I'll cover you. Come on. Hey, uh, sorry about that. I just could really use your eyes, and right now I don't trust Nick to tie his own shoes. They're just still on edge after the Carver thing. It's been five days. Why would Carver still be following us? What's the most important thing in this world? What does everyone want? Even the gangs. You know, what do you think they're all after? Safety? Close. Listen, what's the one thing a guy would walk hundreds of miles to get back? Something you can't just find. Food? Oh, well, nope. Come on. Clem, it's family. It's a tough world out there without people you can trust. Anyways, you, you can ask Rebecca, okay? I'm, I'm not going to get in the middle of it. We've Rebecca. all made mistakes. Done things that we regret. It's not my place to talk about someone else's past, you know? Seems like we're already in the middle of it. Tell me about it. 